just giving you guys a quick rundown of what's going on here. So, you can see right here, sorry, there's a big feed pile in this river. Now, there's a bank den somewhere over there. And traditionally, there's one right in the point down there and one down further. I have literally trapped beaver on this river stretch right here for over 20 years. Usually, the lodge is out in the lake and they just have bank dens down here, they travel. But obviously, there's a colony down here this year. I don't know if it's, I'm guessing a couple beaver, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna run down there and we're gonna check her out. And there's a feed pile in the center of the river. That's just a hole. The beavers, you can see, have been climbing the shoreline in different spots, trying to chew trees down. I don't know why they have an unlimited supply supply because this river is always open. But there's no lodge here. Um, there are, you can see, there's a pile of like a little bit of feed pile right there. There's a nice big deep run going up under the shoreline there. I think I'm going to set a couple H stands there just because the lack of sticks I have available to me. And then generally down there, there's a, there's a bank den or two. And I'm going to assume that they're still there because I've trapped, you know, off and on for years and years, a bank den down there. No, it's, I don't know if there's any. Uh, the shoreline isn't too high over here, so generally the beavers don't den up underneath it. I could be wrong. We're just going to waltz over here and just take a look. I don't see... Maybe they could up by the shoreline up there, but I don't see nothing that would indicate that they have any sort of a... All right there, looks like they had been doing something at some point, but it's all muddy and kind of drifted over. Possibly there. Um, huh. Yeah. Fresh, there's a freshly added tree, I can see, a chewed on tree right there. So, what you guys have is, well, this is what a feed pile looks like, you guys. You see that? When you see this stuff sticking out of the ice, that's what it looks like underneath there. I'm going to try to bring my GoPro tomorrow. Maybe I can get you guys some footage underneath the water of this feed pile and maybe some of these sets. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to grab a couple traps. All right, we're going to do a little something something here quick at a 3.30 here I'm just wiring up these safeties make sure to wipe your safeties you guys you'll lose sleep overnight at night with this stuff okay trap is right there like so Make sure you guys, when you when you relax your grip, when you relax your grip on these traps, don't leave your thumb inside there. If it was a misfire, you'd lose your thumb, okay? So set that trap like so. And then what I do is I, I don't get, I keep my thumb out, grab it with the corners. See that? Keep your thumb out, grab it with the corners. There you go. Let go. Guess what's not happening? You're not getting a thumb in there, okay? Wait up that safety. Wire up this safety, and I'm even going to wire up my chain so it doesn't just hang all over the place, okay? Trap is going on the H-stand, keep it clear of your body. A lot of people like, to, <laughs> they're like, I, you're so comfortable, you, you know, with those traps. And I, I am, guys, I, I certainly am. I don't have any problems with, you know, them. I keep them clear of my body. Just, you know, be responsible and you'll be okay. Twist the top of that, just a wire. Just so you guys know, as long as the top of this is twisted shut with, a, with it anchored somewhere, nothing's going to happen. The beaver's not going to get away with it, you know. I don't know how you guys like to set your springs down over. I don't know. There's a run right here, you guys. And I'm just trying to get this thing set in the best possible spot where I think these beaver are going to come. I think it's right about there, right? 
I think it's right there. Shove that down into the bottom like so. I think the beaver's gonna come out. Hopefully get caught in that head first. Now I'm gonna walk down here. Just uh, grab this piece of uh, barbed wire that's hanging off this post over here. Is that long enough to reach it? It's not. Darn it. Oh, let's see here. Well, you guys, I'm gonna wire this to something, okay? Just so you guys know, I'm wiring that to something. All right, you guys, so, any water in here? A little bit of mud, I guess. Set those two H stands up there, right here. Bunch of sand pushed out. And right there is a bank den where they've been going up underneath the shoreline here, just up under this tree. Um, trying to decide how to set this yet. I think I'm just gonna set it and put springs out on it and shove some sticks in it and stuff. Sound about right to you guys? Okay, let's try it. Okay. All right, so set this like so. Okay, yeah. Wire up my safeties on both sides. All right. Probably be a fast set remotely. There we go. Look at that. See that? Now, we'll take our gloves off. Roll our sleeves away. Oh, God. Did you hear that? That's old age. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I think it is. <laughs> Lost about five years of my life with that. It hurt. Okay. I'm just gonna put these springs out right here. And just so you guys know, you don't have to worry, it's warm out today. It's like 25, I think. So it's pretty nice out. I'm not gonna freeze to death. I'm just gonna shove these right through the sides, both sides, you guys. That's all I'm gonna do. Once I get my wire out of the way here. You guys got that now? One on each side, just like that. And just like this, okay? Okay, you guys see that? That's all I'm gonna do. I am gonna wire this off under the water. I'm gonna freeze my hands a little bit more. But that's all I'm gonna do. These beaver, they, you know, they slide out right on bottom. So hopefully, give me a head catch. Beaver floating here tomorrow, okay? All right, you guys, I'm back to check on this, uh, River Lodge here, River Colony, whatever you want to call it. Um, I can see right down into the water. It's freaking awesome, you guys. I'm going to try these glasses I got on. These are made by Relevant Sunglasses. I don't talk about them a whole lot. But <clears throat> these babies here are specifically made for seeing into the water. Um, you know, I use them a lot for sight fishing in the springtime. But I can see right down in the water here. I don't know. Top of my H stands are still sticking out of the water. I can see that beaver run though. I can't see my far one down there. What's going on? We're gonna walk down. We're gonna check it out. Well, you guys, I can see right here. My first H stand is right there. That trap is sprung with nothing in it. I don't know why. That hole is so deep. The second one here isn't sprung at all there's nothing nothing going on with it whatsoever and it is right in the center of the beaver run so I'm not sure <sighs> I don't know I might pull that trap there's a literally it's ankle deep right here and then probably five and a half feet deep right there well no that's a lie probably four and a half feet deep Let's take a walk down to the far end down here. <clears throat> that hole there, gosh, that hole there's probably seven or eight feet deep. Then there's the feed pile there. I didn't bring my other GoPro with today. I totally forgot. So I don't know if we get any underwater footage or not. If not, I apologize. But we're gonna go down and check this 
330 I set down here yesterday. <clears throat> this looked like a really good set. Hopefully freezing my hands off was worth it. Maybe I'll move that 330 over there and ditch that H stand crap. See the beaver bin up there cutting. I don't like H stands, you guys have told you that before. Every time I have a sprung trap, I just blame the H stand. Ooh, I think I see, actually you guys, I think I see fur over here. To be perfectly honest with you, I think I can see some fur. Yep, I see fur sticking out of the water by the tree. That means beaver, that means I better get these up so I can. <clears throat> yep, there's a beaver you guys, sticking out of the water like a sore thumb. Right by the head too. It's a good sized beaver. Look at that connection, boys. Big one, right by the head. You know what? So you put those traps right on the bottom like that. You know those those beaver come out head first. You couldn't. I couldn't have got a better catch on that big beaver. Oh, it's a big beaver too. Wow. No, let's try to take him out of the trap while he's in the water, right? There we go. Tricky, tricky, but be careful, you can do it. Practice makes perfect. There we go. Another trap, boom. There's that trap right there. There's that big, big beaver. It's a big one. Big one, as Murray would say. Oh. We're gonna put this beaver over here, reset the trap, you guys, and we're gonna take a look at him, okay? I'm thinking there's only two big beaver in here. Hopefully the other one isn't educated. I guess we're gonna find out. Because I did have a sprung trap down there. And this beaver, I didn't even notice if I caught him coming in or going out. But that's a big beaver, you guys. Get a good look at him here. All right, there we go. I'll give you a quick look at that big beaver. That is a big beaver. I'll bet you that's, I don't know, that's got to be 50 pounds, maybe over. It's so big, fat. Definitely a big adult beaver. <clears throat> Hopefully I can remember my GoPro tomorrow. We'll get some underwater footage of this feed pile and these beaver runs. Yeah. Yo, what's up you guys? I am back one last time here to uh, check. This is just, just a two day set and check on these beaver traps. I got a big one yesterday, pretty sweet. Hopefully I get another one today, you guys. Um, if I don't, that's unfortunate. But the cool part is you guys, at the end of this, when I pull these traps, don't leave because I brought my GoPro. I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of underwater footage from my Hero 5 of the feed pile. Um, there's the feed, oh, see here, there you go. Feed pile's right there. I'm gonna show you this beaver run down here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna kinda show it all to you guys, okay? So, uh, don't take off. All right, you guys, hopefully you can hear this. I did not catch another beaver in this trap over here. I'm gonna give you a little look see what the beaver runs look like, you guys, okay?
Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, trapping, honestly, is getting really tough now. We got, you know, the snow isn't horrible. There's maybe like a foot on the lakes, but the slosh is getting bad. It was easy for me to trap this river. I'm going to try to get some more beaver trap videos out. Maybe some snaring, beaver snaring videos, baited sets or something like that. But they're not going to be wham, bam, one after another like they have been. Uh, I'm going to try to keep uploading you know, like like Wednesdays and Saturdays. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that underwater footage. Just give you guys insight on what a beaver's life, you know, kind of is under the water. Murkier lakes, you know, the beaver can't see like that. But here, we were fortunate, fortunate enough, we got a really clear body of water here. Um, I showed you guys the bank dens with the traps in them. The main den that had the H stand in it. I got a question for you guys. So I... I'm fairly confident I could come back here and put a, a foothold along the shoreline somewhere and take this other beaver. He is still in here. It is still in here because I found fresh spots where he had pushed some snow up on the shorelines. <clears throat> but the thing is, also, this, there's a main road that runs by here. A lot of people walk their dogs by here. You know, um, the ideal spot to set that trap is along the shoreline here, but I do not want to risk catching someone's dog. You know, you know we're we're trappers, but we're also you know conservationists and we're outdoorsmen, we're sportsmen. Um, if you guys ever get a chance, you know, and you're gonna set a trap in a questionable area, like really close to a road or really close to a footpath, you know, try not to do that. I know it might be 100% legal. You know, I'm not against trapping at all. You know, I just don't like seeing somebody. You know, I got my dog got caught 40 feet off a footpath or or off a road, and I've seen some of those posts lately. Um, just try to use your best judgment to put those traps in. Um, I could definitely other side of this river down is pretty high bank. Um, I could definitely set the foothold safer somewhere you know down further. So if I can still catch that animal and get away from the targeted area where I might make you know run into other people, you know, I try to do that. So anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please drop a sub.